The SFH30 head has many advantages over similar size products, including speed, accuracy, weight, and payload. I want to discuss its accuracy, more specifically backlash. The head uses zero backlash gearboxes, and I often get asked, what is that? Especially considering they account for over 60% of the parts costs. We've set up an example here with a head and a laser, and a target some distance away. Backlash is the play you get between gears on any mechanical system. It can be very costly and time consuming to get rid of the effects of backlash in post-production. It causes a little jerk whenever you change direction, and more importantly, causes repeat passes and multi-layers not to match. Here we have a laser on a head, a good distance from the target. I have a head on which there is backlash, and you can see when I move away from the stored position and then tell the head to go back to the stored position, the position varies if I approach it from the left or the right. Without the laser, if I were to try to push the head by hand, I would feel the play in the gears. Now here is the same test on a head with no backlash. As you can see, even with the head 10 meters away from the target, the head returns to the same position accurately. Backlash is one of the hardest things to get rid of in a mechanical system, and that is why zero backlash gearboxes are used in the head to give a superior performance. If you wanted a shot where one take was done forwards and the other in reverse, or you wanted to mix live action with time lapse, this would be very important and could save yourself hell in post-production.